Oh, my God. I said, that hurt the whole hand like this. You said he's there about 20 minutes. I could have cracked him in the head, man. <laughs> Dirk, he, he spoke up. Then what was that? I said, buddy, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's just got me worried. That's a true story now. No joke, no lie. Well, I went to work one morning. Worked about dinner time, and I got hurt. In a mine? Mine rope went between my fingers. He was in water, and I laid my hand on it and didn't see it. And it, it was, I went outside and put the, the bandage a little bit for me to get to the hospital. Bad cut. Yeah, I ripped my hand down from the middle of my tongue with yeah. fingers. And he said, Melvin took me to the hospital, the boy outside man. He liked to eat, you know. <laughs> liked to eat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He didn't have his dinner. He took me, took me and he took me to the hospital. I got down there. I took my truck, he did, and he took me down there, and he stopped at the, he stopped at the Tucker Fried Chickens. That was right across the road. Right, yeah, right across the hole from the hospital back then. And uh, <laughs> he went in the hospital, he went in the, <laughs> <laughs> he went in the <laughs> Tucker Fried Chicken and ordered him up a chicken. I didn't know what it was going to do. And I said, there, hurt to hold my hand like this. You said he's in there about 20 minutes. I could have cracked him in the head, man. <laughs> You said he's in there about 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes, uh, wanting, check, wanting to eat, and he started eating before he got the truck. <laughs> so he come out of KFC eating chicken. He come out, he went over to the hospital and sat there with me, eating chicken there like a dog. Did he offer you any? <laughs> he did offer me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't eat nowhere because it was hurting. I bet you hated chicken after that, didn't you? <laughs> and I, I went back to work at that, uh, about a couple of weeks, about a month, I guess, and he said, uh, I tell them boys, said about Melvin. I said, hey, he, he stopped got chicken when it, me hurt. I said, he said, God, that's Melvin, all right. <laughs> hey, folks, you guys might remember my wife's dad, known to the folks who watch this channel as Papa Cody, telling us about his many years working underground in the coal mines. We did a video uh, with him telling us about that about a year or so ago, and uh, well received the video. But he's got some funny stories, too. Oh, by the way, I will put a link to that video at the end of this video. And uh, probably up here in the corner. True story. Uh, and right here, too. Yeah. He's got some funny stories. Now, we, we recorded one of them the other day <laughs> at the table. But he's got a couple more he's going to tell you now. We're going to put them all together. And uh, one of my favorites is the story of... The chickens. A man had gave him some chickens. This is back when his kids was young, a long time ago. And uh, he went and picked them up, put them in a crate in the floorboard of the back seat of a, what it's kind of pinto. car? A Pinto. Go ahead and tell us about it. A uh, Pinto. I found a chicken in the back of Pinto and I'd head up home. And the chicken was worried, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they was worried. And another boy, we know, picked, we picked him up, another boy. Seen him walking? And I changed gear a second gear and that old muffler's off from the chicken. Better go hot or something, chicken. He started going, Wow! That old boy looked at me and says, <laughs> He looked at me and he looked at my wife, uh, wife and he looked at the kids there and, there, and he was going, Where that racket's got from? Jerk, he, he spoke up. said, What was it? I said, Buddy, I don't know. <laughs> I said, Got me words. <laughs> I bet that scared him, didn't it? <laughs> he wanted to get out of look at the door. <laughs> Anybody, he, was, he scared me by walking by a young boy like that. Up that mountain, he's scary up that mountain anyway. <laughs> anybody ever been around... He scared me to go up that mountain. Well, uh, anybody ever been around chickens <laughs> knows they make this weird little they noise. They went, wow! Yeah. When they were so hard, wow! They scared me. I got my chickens in there. <laughs> they were getting hot or something. My mother's off back on you. Uh, Pinto's got to lay back on it. She lay back. And the chickens are getting hot, I believe. That muffler's sounding off, too. Is that a bad muffler on it? That boy looked around and looked at everybody. He said, oh, what was that? <laughs> I, darn, I, did, don't, I don't know what that was. Did you ever tell him it was chickens? And <laughs> no, I got to talk about that. That's chicken, but it'll be too scary. <laughs> <laughs> you let him be nervous for a while. That's the first time I what it was. Oh, that must be a little rooster. <laughs> <laughs> so you had yeah, I've got my chickens uh, talking to her and flip my mind. I got them old chickens. <laughs> That's a true story now. <laughs> no joke, no lie. You was telling me uh, about the time you bought a car. You thought it was a blue car, but the man you traded 
uh, for it had painted it blue with latex house paint. Yeah. And uh, you took it out in the rain and found out it was a red car. Tell us about that. Well, I went and traded a guy. Uh, I went and bought a car off a guy. That he told me to come down and look at it. And I bought it. And he painted it with latex house paint. And I got down the road there. The hood started coming back paint like that. <laughs> paint dried on it. That mildew rain come out. That mildew was running. It looked like a balloon coming up. <laughs> and, uh, you said there's a truck driver. That old truck pipe. driver up from out the window and looked twice. He couldn't believe it. <laughs> and uh, I went out there and that road man. Road uh, construction. Road structure. Picked the ship down him out across the road below it, the rock star. He pulled his rope and said, Rock my fly and hit you. Pull over to, to I shoot you. He, I pulled over and struck it off while he was out there. I put the shoot. He said, He wouldn't see me. He, looked, he, he got up, I shot and looked. He put that, I don't know, he must have put that down. At, Crack knocked it off. <laughs> <laughs> Turned your car red. Put that down and pulled it off. <laughs> Did you tell him what it was? It just drove no, off. No, just rode down his way. He embarrassed, <laughs> it embarrassed me. <laughs> <laughs> he probably thought that shot would turn your car red, change the color. Yeah. Uh, I got to tell a story on him. Uh, when our son was young, he was playing around with Photoshop on a computer. And he put some hair, put a wig, you know, in the picture on his papaw here. And uh, my wife and me got looking at it and said, you know, said, save that. Said, when they come down this Sunday, said, said we're going to play a trick on him. Well, his father-in-law, uh, his wife's dad was single, widowed. And, uh, you know, he, he, was, he was a ladies' man even in his old age. So he came in and we had it made up after dinner and everything, where they'd come over on Sunday usually. We said, we got a picture, said, uh, said your daddy-in-law, uh, said, your daddy-in-law's got himself a new girlfriend. So come over here, we got a picture of her. And we turned the computer around and showed it to him, and it was him in a wig that uh, uh, our son had photoshopped on him. He looked down and said, what do you think about her? He said, boy, he's got himself ugly in this time. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought he'd done better than that. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. That's all he had a meditation. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's one of my favorite stories. I mean, real ugly. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. I wish we had been video and then. That would have been so funny to have that on video. <laughs> hey, folks, thanks for letting Papa Cody share some stories with you and us share some stories about him with you. I think what about do, some more later on. Yeah, oh yeah, there'll be more to come. Don't worry about it. They I got sure some will. business if I think about it. You heard him. <laughs> they mine's going to be true now. Ain't no, ain't no joking matter. No, that's right. He don't lie. What do we say at the end of these videos? Bye. Bye. God bless you, folks. I changed gear a second gear and that old muffler dropped from him. He better go hard or something. Too. He started going, Row. that old boy looked at me and said, <laughs> he looked at me and he looked at my wife, uh, wife and he looked at the kids there and, there and he was going, where that racket's got from? Just he, he smoked up. I said, what was that? I said, buddy, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>